guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tessin for those that are new here and in today's video I know it's a different background but I decided to do this video here because I'm going to be sharing three things that I do with my daughter just to entertain her you guys know I had my baby last year June so that's about I think nine months yeah she's nine months now so she'll be a year in three months yeah she's nine months now hmm. and since then she's been home she doesn't go anywhere except when we have like the jabs the immunization jabs or let me say I just want to take a stroll to the park but she ha she doesn't have friends <laughs> I know she's just nine months old but she doesn't have friends she hasn't met another baby properly you know it's just been it's just been really tough you know staying home with her but I've you know brought up ways in which that I entertain her even if she's so young and I find that she's generally a happy baby so I'm going to be sharing all of that with you guys in this video a few days ago I posted on Instagram one of the activities that I was doing with her and someone reached out to me and if not someone a couple of people actually reached out to me and said you know what she's so young how is she able to do that and is that okay for her to do and for me with children I'm like it's never too early to start anything as long as it's not physical labor and it's not um unrealistic like let me say you're giving a five-year-old or a one-year-old algebra to solve you know that's that's too extreme but with babies and infants there's so much you can explore so that's what i'm going to be talking about in this video if you like to know more definitely stay tuned okay so the first thing that i entertain my daughter with is myself you guys i think i don't know i'm living vicariously through her so all the things that i know that i would have loved to be done with me when i was a child i do that with her so i do a lot of singing my voice is not the most sonorous you should already know if you follow me but i sing i form a lot of songs for her like since she was born there's a song that i used to sing i say i remember remember re and then she just loves it she lights up she beats her leg so we do that very often so i find out that she's generally a happy baby and a joyful baby not because of the song but i think just because of the ambience of fun of playfulness around her as well so i think that really contributes so that's one thing that i do i sing with her i talk to her when I'm doing my makeup, I'm like, ah, I remember, oh, I can't wait to look out. Mommy looks so beautiful. And then she giggles. So I, I just try to sing to her. I clap to her. I also have like soft, um, squishy dolls. So you know what they call like pressure balls? Like when adults are upset, you, you, you squeeze it just to release them um, some pressure. So I have something like that for babies, but they are soft, like plush, like balls. You can't, the babies can't squeeze it, obviously, because there's no pressure to release. But I use that to play like a game with that. So I just kick the ball to her. She doesn't respond, but she likes it. And then I take it back from her. I push it back to her. And then it's just, it's just nice. So I sit on the floor with her. I put her in a play mat. And then I just, you know, throw the ball with her back and forth. And then, so that's one way. So I'm able to entertain her. I keep her distracted. You know, I play with her. I shake her. I, I, I heal her. And I'll be like, hey, 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 hey. And then she just starts to dance. And it's just, it's just beautiful. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen lots of clips of me doing that with her. I actually have highlights. Isla, my daughter's name is Isla. So I have Isla 2021. Isla 2021B, Isla, like so many highlights, just, you know, so if you're into babies and you just love to see, you know, beautiful moments like that, definitely check that out. I'll put it here or something so you guys can see that. So now, I know that this is such a very dicey topic and initially I myself, I read so many articles and books. I'm like, you know, what, no screen time till you're three years old. Well, you know, these times are quite tough and challenging. It's quite difficult. I don't want a situation where she goes out and she sees another human being or another baby and she's petrified or she's crying and she's screaming. So I actually intro I introduced um, TV to her, but I introduced it with cartoons, e-nurseries, and by cartoons, I don't mean all cartoons. I mean, everybody loves, you know, Coco Melon. I play Coco Melon for her. I find that it's very educative. And not even all Coco Melon episodes. There are some that I don't align with, align with my values. So I don't play those ones for her. But the ones that I know that they are fun, they are educative, I played that for her as well. And it's just, it's just a blast. Now, I'm going to be telling you guys about an interesting product that I got recently. And it has changed the game for me. You guys, you know I said at the beginning of this video that this video is about ways I entertain my daughter. Now, what about entertaining my daughter when I'm busy, right? It's not great to, you know, leave a baby unattended. That's just irresponsible. So, for instance, right now, my house is an open plan kind of um, living area. And it's connected to the kitchen, the, you know, what would I call it, the island, the my little workstation behind everything is connected so it's an open space kind of plan which i really like like because it allows me to keep an eye on her and she's still very little so i'm going to be showing you something that has totally changed the game for us and this is the benq mini projector you guys as i said i entertain my daughter with a tv but the tv is all the way over 
the island so can you guys see the reason why this position that i'm in is just better so you'll be able to visually imagine what i'm talking about it's over the island but since i got this you guys i'm gonna unbox this on camera now and i'm gonna show you guys everything you need to know about the benq mini projector and i'm gonna put everything on the screen as well so it's the it's the benq gvi projector and i'm gonna show you guys now and you guys it looks like this and it's so small it's so beautiful it, it's just it's just perfect now why i use this because i run a business and I, sometimes i'm busy i'm packing orders from the house and or i'm cooking in the kitchen and i want to see my daughter as i'm cooking but i would need literally need to be doing like this for me to be able to see her because she's watching the tv so when i got this i was like fan dabby <laughs> fantastic so this is a mini projector i'm gonna put the cost and everything in the description box below it's amazing it's worth every penny shout out to benq for sponsoring this video by the way and it's just beautiful so it's like this it has like a tilt head so you can tilt it whichever way you want up down to adjust i'm going to put it on for you guys and i'm going to show you another thing i love about this projector is that it's so easy to pair initially when i got it, i was like oh dear i hope i don't have to start doing wiring and all of that not like i'm not good with wiring but i just didn't have to worry with that literally you just put it on with this button you put it on it came pre-charged but obviously you can charge it you put it on can you see it's on uh, I'm shining them put it on my face Casey <laughs> oh so you put it on basically and you set it to the way you want do you want it up do you want it down and then the screen is already showing so I'm gonna put it off now just to conserve you know power and basically when you put it on it's so easy to pair with your devices I just mirror my phone on it so I have two phones I have just the second one that I let, let her play all her cartoon and everything on and I just pair the phone with it and instantly it begins to show on the projector literally in seconds it doesn't even take long at all and I, which i'm going to be showing you guys in this video the screen interface is very easy straightforward you literally just put on your bluetooth or your airplay if you use an iphone and you connect with the with the with the device and literally everything that is on your phone is mirroring to the projector another thing i love about the projector is that besides you know entertaining my daughter you are able to use it for like movie nights with your spouse just you know something different you're also able to use it for FaceTime calls. So you know how I have this little device thing that I usually put my phone on when I'm cooking. But what happened is that it's concave. So I literally have to do like this when I'm talking to someone. But with this projector, if I'm washing dishes, I can just project it on my plain screen behind me here. And I can be FaceTiming my brother, my friends, whoever I would just want to speak to. Lastly, it can also be used for me. What I'm telling you these are things that I've used it for. I've also used it as a fireplace just to change the ambience of my living room and it's so beautiful you guys it just changes everything everywhere looks so nice so serene it's a little bit bright now once it's darker I'm gonna insert like a video of how it looks at night when I use a fireplace on the projector so basically instead of getting an actual fireplace since I don't have one I can put on my heater put on go on YouTube type fireplace and project it onto my screen and then everywhere just feels so warm and cozy so that's another way that I entertain my daughter which is by the projector now. Now, the last but not the least activity that I do that I used to entertain my daughter is flashcards. Like, she's so little and she's, as I said, she's nine months old, but I find out that she mimics what I say. So sometimes I'll say, say mama, she goes nana, or if I'm calling my brother, I'll say toppe, she'll say toppe, or she'll say pepe um, with her daddy. And I, and I don't want that um, zeal or that, um, what would I call it? The, the zeal that's just the only word that is in my mind now to quench so i try to you know, engage her so i use flashcards and i know that she probably doesn't understand what it's written on the flashcards but as i said it's never too early so i do flashcards with her i'll say what is this cute baby i'll say it again cute baby what is this i'll say it again and just like that like, i find that she shows interest in it sometimes i just pour everything on the floor and then i tell her and she just plays with it and whatever one she picks up i tell her what's on the flashcard and then she smiles and then we just continue the cycle for a few minutes before you know she gets tired and she gets cranky and then she wants to sleep but i find that it's so useful a lot of people tell me that she's so fast she talks really fast she can you know she can almost even start waving and saying hello to you she smiles she understands her name and you know with children they're different children have different um what would i call it growth spurts so i don't want you to compare with your daughter and say oh she was born you know one month before Ariri, and then she can't still say um 
blah 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 or anything no don't compare i'm just saying that i just try to just harness and just improve that desire for her to copy and mimic the things that i say so that's our to guys for my video i hope i did justice to you know explain the three things that i ex that i used to entertain my daughter make sure you check out the benq projector i'm going to put all the links in the description to purchase it's worth every penny trust me it's worth it. When I showed my dad, my dad was like, I should order him one immediately and send it back home to him in Nigeria. So definitely check it out. And I'm going to put all the details of the website and where to purchase. And if I have any discount codes, I'll also put it in the description box for you guys to purchase. So that's about it for my video. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you like. Make sure you share with your friends. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.